I refer you to the endowment report found in your uh, packets there. I get the privilege of being on the best committee in the whole synod because we get to fund, I hear some laughs over there, but let me explain. We get to fund the future leadership and the new missions and ministries here in Southwest Minnesota. So I have for you a challenge. If your church does have an endowment, maybe you'd like to tithe some of your endowment to the synod endowment. Or if you're looking at setting up an estate, consider a tithe to the synod endowment because the small amounts that come in gather, you will see, and do big things. First slide, there we go. Uh, the first slide here we have our total endowment funds now are one, a little over 1.3, almost 1.4 million dollars. This includes uh, the funds that the Synod Endowment Committee takes care of as well as some funds that we are caretakers for. Uh, next slide there, please. The funds that we do take care of include uh, the Mission Enhancement Fund. And you'll note on your uh, report there that this fund this year uh, helps support seven events from the plunge to uh, Geneva to some spiritual direction to our keynote speakers for the um, uh, Equipping Congregations Day. Our rural debt reduction, um, we had 29 grants given out. And also then for our seminary scholarships, we had five recipients there. Can I get the next slide, please? And this gives you a look at some of those people who have received uh, some of those um, seminary scholarships. Uh, also, the Lutheran Men in Mission gave out, gave out some scholarships this year. And we had some additional gifts, which allowed uh, quite a few people to receive uh, almost full scholarships, 10 seminarians. Let's see, next one here. I got to put in a little plug for our PI events. Uh, Bishop Eaton was at our PI event in Wilmer and had this to say. I have to hit my clicker. It's here. not the person who dies oh, with the most stuff who wins. The person who dies with the most stuff or the most toys is the person who's making the surviving family clean out the most junk. <laughs> there we go. Now it'll click, yes. Sorry, I had a double repeat there. But PI, PI refers to prosper. In Abraham's covenant, Abraham was blessed to be a blessing. We need to look at our prosperity as a blessing to bless others. We invest in relationships. That's what we take with us, is the love and care of those relationships we have. And endow means to give the future generations the tools to share the good news. Now we had an experience this year with a family that attended one of the PI events. They, at this event, several generations attended. They were ordered to attend by the matriarch of the family. What mama says, ma the kids do, right? Well, they reported, this family, reported an incredible conversation that intentionally caused us to give voice to our family values. We talked about what was important to mom and to us. Now, additionally, this family members said they got to verbalize their family core values. For them, a core value was our faith in Jesus Christ. That faith has been lived out through a local church. Because of all that conversation, we now have family riches lived out according to mom's wishes. And because they had that conversation around pie and coffee, we were more prepared when our mother found out one month after this event that she only had a few weeks to live. We are following up on those core values with substantive action even though we didn't sign any papers. We know what mom wanted. When mom died on May 24th, two months after the pie event, as a result of that event and that conversation that followed, her family was much better prepared for living out their mother's and their own core values. The power of pie and coffee and conversation. So I invite you, if you are asked to host or attend a pie event, it's not that hard. It's a lot of fun. And we have variety of pie. We'll give it to you. 
And last but not least, we have two of our members retiring. Oops. Let's see if I'll do that. There we go. Uh, Deb Brayberg and Donna Kurth, we thank them for their faithful service for many years and their thoughtful insight. And finally, we would like to thank you for your support of the Southwest Minnesota Endowment. And together we are blessing the future with our presence of today. Thank you.